thanks for bringing these guitars in today. My pleasure. Um, looks like you've got two really nice guitars here, both arch tops. This is a semi-electric arch top and a full acoustic arch top. Um, what can you tell me about each one? Do you know anything about them? Well, uh, this guitar is a Stromberg, and and he uh, he made guitars in Boston, and he was one of the famous guitar builders. Mm -hmm. and this, I believe, is somewhere around a 1930, I believe, and it was the simplest model, but but I think what makes it cool is it's the body's rosewood, which is yeah. pretty rare. Yeah. And uh, and um, where did you get it from? I got it from a guy in New York, probably about 15 or 20 years ago. So. Okay. And he was like a jazz player or a friend of yours? Or? Uh, well, he's a jazz player. And, okay. And I, I just had a fascination with these guitars. And, you know, he was one of the great builders, and I believe he only made 400 guitars. So. Right. So, yeah. Uh, um, pretty much, like you said, this is a, a really nice example of a G1 model in Rosewood, which is the only Rosewood one I've ever seen. And um, it has a, a nice uh, engraving uh, headstock and some really rare tuners, which I've never seen before. <laughs> and um, it's, uh, it's had a little bit of binding work, which most guitars from the 30s have had. But overall, it's, it's a really fine example of a rare guitar. I mean, they couldn't have made many of these at all. Uh, have you ever seen one like this before? Never. Yeah. Never seen one. It's pretty rare and um, extremely player nice condition. Um, the back of the guitar is about the same shape. Beautiful Brazilian rosewood. Little crack repair. And there's the tuners I was speaking of. And this guitar, do you know anything about this guitar at all? Like where it came from or anything? I, I bought it at an Indianapolis guitar show probably 15, 20 years ago. And, uh, I just always wanted a dot neck 335, and there was one there, and yeah, and I bought it. It's a nice example, and uh, you did the right thing by getting the guitar. It's in the sunburst finish, which most of them are. Um, it is 100% original, except for the tuners have been changed, which you have in the case, and you put the appropriate kind of tuners on, so that doesn't really affect its value. Um, it has the features of the earlier dot neck with the long pickguard. Um, and I checked the serial number and it comes out to 1960, um, which is a really good year. It has kind of a typical 1960 neck and then it's medium to wide thin. And you know, as you I probably know, the 59s are a little bit bigger around. But uh, it's a very comfortable guitar. It plays great. It's 100% original, other than the tuners, which you have. And you do have the original cases on both these guitars, which um, makes a difference. Um, I've sold a lot of these guitars, and I've never sold one of those, so I'm very familiar with these models. Um, it's got some nice bird's eye and the original PAF pickups. And I would say the value on this one is between $25,000 and $30,000. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And um, uh, circa 1930 G1 Stromberg. In today's market, I would guess somewhere between eight to twelve thousand dollars. This market is a little softer than it used to be because um, the generation of the gentlemen that played these are kind of gone. Um, but it's a really fine rare guitar. Wow, that's awesome. 